Hey guys, and welcome to yet another cast of salt with you today, way over in reaching distance and beard stroking distance, is Adam. Hey yo. Way at the back, of, still within head tapping distance, is Ryan. Yo. And I'm hosting Ben. Um, Hello, hosting Ben. Yes. I am, what is it, a Jörg? Jörg? What? what are the animals? What are the... Eh, oh yeah! Oh, animals. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, filthy yuck. Um, <laughs> thank you for joining us for yet another wonderful installation of our cast assault. Um, usual reminder: um, if you're on YouTube, check out our other content, our other cool and wonderful things that we do. We have some awesome gameplay happening with i'm gonna preempt a few new releases along yeah there's the a whole bunch of new videos coming out stay soon i swear to god they're coming soon i promise i'm editing as fucking it's, hard as i can it's on happening. that it's happening. oh my god we have a lot of stuff coming up um yeah so check out our stuff like and subscribe if there's anything on there that you particularly like let us know and we'll do more of it and join um, our discord and jump because we're on discord. discord and we love it and we chat all the time so yes. come give us you know suggestions for games to play and or tell us that we're crap because we are. And if you, <laughs> it's actually a good way to get. Okay, it's, right? yeah. it's actually a good way of getting mentioned on the podcast as well. Because yeah. basically, whatever we talk about in Discord for that week basically becomes the podcast. Goes on yes, to the podcast. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and to get straight into the swing of things, um, what was it like two weeks ago now that we were yeah, supposed yeah. to do our last podcast? Probably longer. We actually forgot. Uh, <laughs> started this week. We were like, Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. Um, the reason Whoa. being it's been a big couple of weeks in two weeks yes pax pax was the reason so i'm gonna throw over to the ryan and the um and the adams because i didn't go so missed you guys out, need, to, out. need to fill me in and go i think uh i should probably start yes, yes go for it. um i had a lot of fun uh i spent most of my time playing board games actually um yeah i ended up purchasing a new game called well i don't know if it's new but i ended up purchasing a game called clank um, that was really good. It is a lot it's of fun. Really good. It's um, basically a deck building adventure game. Mm -hmm. So at, you explore a dungeon, and as you do, you um, can own items and, and purchase new cards that get added to your deck. Yep. And then obviously, eventually, you shuffle your deck and deal out more cards. And so yeah, you sort of build up this deck as you go. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And yeah, it's, it's lots of fun actually. But it's not like it's what I found really interesting is it's not like. Like, I look at deck building games and I'm like, oh man, that looks like really complicated and really hard to get into. And I don't know if I want to play it or not. And, but this was like really fast moving. Like, I was just watching Straight you guys play. It. And within like a couple, like a round or two rounds of playing through, I was mm -hmm. like, oh, cool. I get this. Yeah. I get the flavor of the game. And the cool thing is like, there's a dragon that you're trying to like, you're trying to go through the dungeon and collect all the dragon's shit before he wakes up and kills everyone. Right. Yeah. And you like, when the dragon like attacks and like tries to attack someone blindly, you pull um there's like a big velvet bag full of cubes mm. and there's a cube color for every player mm. plus um, cube color plus black which is just the attack misses yeah. yep and when you do shit and make noise in the dungeon it's called clank and then you drop little cubes in yep. into the bag so when the dragon attacks you just pull a cube, cube out you pull x amount of cubes out of yep. the bag and it's just like the dragon hits these people like yeah it could be like oh the dragon missed twice and hit bin once or yeah. it could be like the dragon hit adam three times and he fucking he died <laughs> like, yeah. so I it's like it's it's crazy fun it's very cool it yeah. is it's um it's lots of fun um so i played a lot of that played yeah. a lot of um uh carcassonne actually as mm -hmm. well so that was pretty fucking cool. mara was so happy oh. he was so happy he got to play carcassonne yes yes it's good fun yeah um and then we, we actually played Secret Hitler as well, one of the day. Oh, that was at your place, though, at your at your family's place. Yes. Um, oh, I wasn't there for that. Oh, Fuck. You're right. Yes. I left already. God fucking <laughs> <laughs> hell. You guys, your, motherfuckers at, played Secret Hitler without at, me. At your family's place. Who won? Place. Who was, yeah, you who were was not Hitler? There. Who was Hitler? Answer it. Who was Hitler? Okay, like, so we played two games. Yes. Um, I can't remember who was Hitler the first game, but I was fucking Hitler the second oh. game. And I killed it. <laughs> oh, you won? I had everyone suspecting Jordan. Excellent. So I, I, ah, well. I, sorry, Jordan, if you're watching this, uh, again, I know I apologize on the as well, but uh, <laughs> was, I, I like fucking, just... fucking destroyed. <laughs> I was like, you I don't Ellie. fucking trust this guy. He looks fucking, sh he's fucking shifty as fuck. He's got something going on with like uh, Ruth and like, yeah, anyway, it was fun. It was good fun. <laughs> That's fucking great. Um, uh, what else did we That's get That's fantastic. To? Um, obviously, I uh, went through the indie game section, checked out a few uh, new games there. Mm. Um, <laughs> 
I, I need I need to say we walked past the Fortnite booth. Yeah. And it was just Fortnite dancing. Fuck. That was what their demo was. That's was what their so demo bad. was. Was like they had music, right? Mm. And then they had a line for people to go up and give their fort the best Fortnite dance. But it's frustrating because Fortnite takes those dances from other places. Yes. It's like this yeah. trend is happening. We're gonna put it into our game. Yeah. And then they go to a convention and they get people to do those dances. Yeah. It's funny too. I saw a, I literally saw a video today on Twitter and someone was, it was two kids and they would have been like maybe anywhere from like year seven to maybe year nine. Mm. And they would talk and they were doing, um, they were doing in the U S and they're doing a Fortnite dance battle in like their caf- school cafeteria. Mm. And everyone's like looking around and filming it and laughing and everything. Yeah. And then it's like, it's super lame watching. I was like, oh my fucking God. And then the person that uploaded this video wasn't the original poster, mm. the original film of the video, but the person that uploaded the video with the, with the, with the tweet comment of, can we please bring back bullying? Yeah. <laughs> 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 like, oh, there's a place God. in society for bullying. And it's like, as much as we've hated it, it served the purpose. Yeah. <laughs> Stop this shit now. <laughs> stop it. Oh, that's so bad. Children, stop. <laughs> oh, oh, I, what else? Yeah, no. Yeah. yeah. It was very yeah, funny. We also checked out um, the Nintendo booth. We went and played mm. uh, Pokemon Let's Go. Yeah. How yeah. was that? Um, it was... Okay. Okay. I got opinions on oh, this. Okay, no, okay. Adam, uh, how about you start this time? Oh, we haven't think about it. Opinions. So, it, it, was, it, was, it was what I wanted, mm. solely because it is a... Very easy, accessible game. It is a remake of Yellow. Very okay. Obvious. Ah, it's a remake okay. of Yellow. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. You can have other Pokemon follow you. Um, Pikachu or Eevee or whatever version you have, they will always be attached to you, like on your shoulder or on your head, depending mm-hmm. on the version. Um, but you can pick any other Pokemon to follow behind walk, you as well. Walk around behind as you. As well. Yeah, as well. Yes. So it's very cool. Um, catch mechanics of Go. Um, the fuck. I There are IVs. Mm-hmm. Pokemon's IV values. EVs are, which usually are through training. Mm-hmm. There's some form of training in the games now. Uh, this one is candies, which is like yeah. catching more Pokemon. So yeah. it's very much a Pokemon Go thing. Yeah. Uh, the battle mechanics are straight Pokemon. Like yeah. main series Pokemon, the battling is the it, same. Yeah, I was going to say it's very much a blending of the two. Yes, extremely. So it's like if you took the catching and um, powering up mechanics of Go mm. and then the Traditional the battle, battle mechanics yes. of okay. I'm not sure because how the battle mechanics of Go is eh, not great. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it, it, hey, the battle mechanics of Go fit the device. For, for it, fits, yeah, it, it fits fine. It fits the game. It's well done. Well, much so the it. interesting thing that like I when I played the demo, I was like, I am stoked for this. I will, I will get it after mm. playing it solely because I personally wanted the drop in, drop out co op. Mm. And I wanted to, and when Leah saw this, like she was interested in playing, and it is a very easy, accessible game to mm. get new players, young, old. It's not, it, I mean, I don't really feel like it's pitched at like little kids, yeah. but it's a game for like people that maybe have got a Switch or or are wanting to try have a new Pokemon experience. And really like Pokemon Go, yeah. and it's kind of easing, being like it's almost like the gateway drug it's, into the main it's, Pokemon. It's funny series because, kind of thing. Well, it's, a, it's funny because so. Um, the other big big thing of Pokemon news that's come out recently is mm. Detective Pikachu. Yeah. Right? So that had a trailer drop and it's actually getting good reviews. Like yeah, I, looked, I don't know if you've seen the, it. The trailer yeah. looked good. The trailer, the trailer looked looked good. actually really good. Um and I, well, I still want Danny to beat it. It's it's the Detective I, Pikachu. There's there's a few people that have edited the trailer. I have seen those edits <laughs> they're and they're so fucking good. great. Um but but anyway, um I, I it's almost like uh they kind of Pokemon's becoming a bit more mainstream again like it's, yeah, it's, it, it, Absolutely. it started off i mean obviously you know like in the 90s and it was a kid's thing and hmm. then um then it had the big boon of pokemon go when that came out yeah right and, then it's, and faded away. it's faded off again but it's like i said yeah. it's got that mainstream appeal again yeah you know so i think and i think things like detective pikachu are actually gonna you know yeah so my opinion of it is it's not gonna be for everyone um and i honestly ever i knew that like they're gonna do another main series pokemon game next year yeah. so yeah. when i heard that i was like this game is going to be like if it suits you get it if it doesn't don't worry about next it. year you'll get you'll and get people are next... like oh this is going to suck and i'm like just wait till next year you'll get your you'll get your, your, next your, your name 
your main series familiar experience and that, my that my only caveat is to maybe that, they won't <laughs> no no my only caveat to that is nintendo has been notorious for doing this sort of thing right mm-hmm. yeah they released the ds as a third uh, uh, sorry i should say yeah third tier right next to the game boy and and the gamecube yeah, right? yeah. or whatever it was yeah. at the time um they released the switch and they're like oh no but the 3ds is still relevant Right, it's mm. still going to be the thing because because basically what they yeah. do is they they introduce something new, they hedge their bets, and if it takes off like the switch, then they're like yeah. fuck yeah, then they're like, like like the DS, every, forget everything you know, else, fuck fuck off the one thing that we want to kill off, which at the time was the Game Boy, yeah. right? Yeah, which you know uh, they want to get rid of the 3DS for the in favor of the Switch, mm. yeah. Right? Absolutely. I feel like like okay, so if a, Pokemon Go does it, if Pokemon well, Let's Go, go as well, Let's Go is a going to do it will it, it will it'll, it'll do, do well, well mm. but next year's one, I think they're going to keep a lot of the mechanics. From Let's Go, mm-hmm. maybe, maybe. That, I think, that, I, that's I think not a, that's not a crazy possibility. Yeah. I think that's possible. Um, it would be a bit weird though if you're going to get back to back titles a year, that one year later. That's yeah. pretty similar. Who 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 knows? Hey, we did who that knows? with um, X Y and Auras. True. Oh, and there's also thoughts that um, there's going to be a Sinnoh remake as well oh, in the in the Let's Go engine. Okay. Yeah. Um. I, to be honest, if they remade all of them again, but remade them all with the Let's Go stuff, I'd be like. Okay, sure. because why, like why you've re- you've already redone it, so do yeah. it again. Like, yeah, yeah, okay. Anyway, but like that's... it was it was a good game, and the game actually looked really nice too. Yeah, graphics were nice. It played well. It like okay. it was fun. We 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 somehow tangented well we're... into the Pokemon topic, but yeah. to wrap up with regards to packs. Uh, it was great. We also played Dead or Alive Six. Fuck that game okay. is fun. <laughs> I can't recommend how much fun I fucking had playing Dead or Alive Six. And it's way better than five. We also I, five I... is good. Six is just way fucking bad. I, I guess because um, uh, it's worth shouting out I went and saw Acquisitions Incorporated again as well mm-hmm. which is the D&D live really fun. Yeah. thing yeah, that, that was, was really lots fun. of fun um, I personally I still think I preferred the one shot that they run, ran last year mm-hmm. which was um, a Star Wars theme yeah. only because it was a one shot it was self contained this yep. one was a continuation of their current story, and I was a little bit lost at times. Yeah, because I don't have because you haven't been following yeah. Yeah. altogether. But it was still fun. It was still fun. it was okay. dude. They're funny guys. Yeah, so it's gonna be good. Um, and the panels we did, we didn't go to too many panels, but the panels that I did go to were very good. So yes, it was cool. It was a great experience. Okay, and we had lots of beers afterwards. <laughs> <It was fun. laughs> oh yeah. Okay. It was good. Um. Well, we'll leave the PAX discussion at that, unless there's any specific highlights that anyone wants to call out. Super Smash Bros. is really fucking good. That's all I've got to say. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, yeah. I, I, think, I said, really think it needs anything it, more. It, it's Smash Bros. It plays well. Everyone is in it. It's it, fun. Yeah. Man, we can talk Smash Bros., but no. I'm fucking excited. <laughs> I'm so fucking excited for that game now. I was like... I'm still... Cool. I'm, like, I'm still torn. It's like, I don't have the 400 bucks to throw on a Switch, but... You gotta get Pokemon, it. Smash... Um, it's and plus, and plus the switch is just now. the switch's backlog now. It's yeah. just like it's really good. It's yeah. building up well. It's really good. Yeah. It's been a good year, year for games, man. It's been well, good. It's been a good year for Nintendo. <laughs> Nintendo. <laughs> Nintendo has fucking killed it this killed year. Killed it this year. Um, oh my god. Okay, talking good year for games. Yeah. So next topic. And we may just touch on this briefly. Yeah. But list of Game of the Year yes. the candidates have been announced. So the, so the Game Awards candidates have been announced? I yes. the news? Uh, yeah, so the Game of the Year, there's, there's six. I'll try to remember off my head without looking at notes. So there is... Ask Creed. Um, okay, I want to save that one for the end. <laughs> so there is Red Dead Redemption 2. Mm-hmm. There is... Um, what was the indie title? There was an indie Celeste. Title. Celeste. Which was on Switch uh, very well reviewed. Mm-hmm. Um, I think... There, there were people in our Discord that chat about a lot about Celeste. So I was like, I wasn't surprised. I haven't played it, but I was, I was like not surprised when it was on there. That it went up. But it was the only indie game as well. But anyway, so there was also... Um, fuck. Okay. Do, you want, do you want to bring up the list? Yeah, might as well. Is that, get, get, I forgot. <laughs> uh, okay, so Assassin's Creed Odyssey is in there. And that's the one I was like, okay, cool. Um, there was also... Um, uh, Spider-Man 4. How did I oh, forget yeah. that one? Spider-Man 4. Mm-hmm. And there was... 
Oh god, one of the big AAA releases where they oh um, Monster, Monster Hunter, Hunter World. World, God of War, God of War. There you go. Yep. There you go. And then we've, we've so that, was, that was the six yeah, of them. That's right? the six. Yeah. So it's Celeste, Red Dead, Monster Hunter World, God of War, Assassin's Creed, and Sp- Spider Man. Cool. Okay. So I'm not totally surprised at that list. Yep. They are a very fucking solid list. Even you can even see that I literally have this copy on my desk already. Yeah, like yeah. I've been playing it. It's fucking great. Okay. It's such a good so goddamn game. You've mentioned. Assassin's Creed is the only one you're like... Oh, for audio <laughs> listeners, I held up Red Dead Redemption 2. <laughs> I forgot. Um, <laughs> out of that whole list, I assume Red Dead Redemption is the only one you've played. Um, yeah, because I'm a fucking Xbox peasant, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I didn't play Celeste. Yeah. So, so, so God of War doesn't surprise me. Um, I've yeah. had raving reviews and, about yeah, that. Yeah, I've seen... Like 10 reviews. out of 10. It, it just looks good. And same with yeah. Spider-Man It 4. looks amazing. Red, Red Dead, I was surprised that it made it on so quickly, if that makes sense. Like, I thought it might it might not make the nominations. The, well, the initial nominations. Well, it's a, it's a it long-ass in. game, and I don't think people are like, I've finished it. There's not many people that, like, blew through that thing immediately. Yeah. There's a lot to... there. I can play, tell you from experience. There is a lot to do in that game. But I played for like eight hours in one day and then it like, Monster I got Hunter. through 8% of the storyline and like, I'm still in the, here's your new horse. You can name your horse. <laughs> part, of, part of the game. Like, I am You've fucking nowhere. nowhere. Yeah. Nowhere. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> but I was like, just to the point of surprise that it made it on the list. I was just saying to Adam though, like a week, one week is enough to be able to review a game oh. enough to a point where you're like, yeah, this well, see, is a pretty damn I feel good like game. you can't review the game in like I I can give you a review of Red Dead even though I've only played eight hours, but yeah. I feel like I can give you a review even though I'm still in like the baby hand holding shit. Yeah, I've seen the main features. Of You've the game. done enough they've of shown it to be able to. Like... They've shown me how to ride the horse. They've shown me how to shoot guns. I've I've got a, a wide variety of weapons already. Yeah, I've used a lasso to drag someone off a horse. So the only thing I've, that you'd like, be missing is like. Shit. The story, like and, and like, and, and you know, you know bits and getting the, you know bits and opening. pieces of it, yeah, but yeah. you wouldn't know the whole, the whole, and flow through. like maybe more of the progression of like, oh, how important hunting is, or mm. like, but they have told me how to hunt. Like I've done everything. Done, yeah. I could give you a review yeah. of the game, okay. which I feel is good because a lot of games that I've played that I've been like, how is it? I'm like I've played 15 hours and I probably couldn't tell you yeah. <laughs> if I <laughs> like, like it or I not, still don't know or even what the game is really this. kind of. A, yeah, yeah, but I'm yeah. playing it just because I'm playing it. I'm like, yeah. that's not the mark of a so solid game. For me, pretty much every game on that list, I'm like, I I have not played a single one of them, but I want to. So want to play. Red Dead Redemption 2, I loved one. I, I absolutely loved it. It was a get, fantastic get game. It. And I was like, it. yes. Spider-Man 4, uh, Spider-Man on PlayStation. <laughs> like, I love Spider-Man. That game looks amazing. Everything I've heard about it looks and sounds freaking amazing. The it's only so one that I'm just like, is pretty much properly Celeste because I don't know anything about it. And like, it's a been... puzzle platformer. Yes, it's, and it's brutally fucking hard, is what I've heard. I've played a little brutally bit. I think. I think ben, ben Ben owns it. Ben owns it. Ben I've played, has played it. With it. it. It's not bad actually, like in terms of the the gameplay mechanics. And mm. stuff, yeah, I, I can imagine. It, it's a very funny title to be up there though, because yeah. like the other five are big blockbuster, yeah. high graphics, AAA titles, mm. that, and I, this I, is I, like. A cool little indie game. Which is good. Like, it's, it's a good thing. It's just like, yeah, you honest, don't have to be one of these ones. To be honest, though, I kind of thought Hollow Knight might be up there. Mm. That was... Okay, so we are going to talk about, like, what I thought could be Game of the Year. I thought Hollow Knight could but be, honestly. Was it, wasn't Hollow Knight released last year? Uh, it was PC only last, last year. year. And then the Switch and all the console stuff came out this year. Yeah. Like, this January. Right. Okay. Yeah. So... Mm. I still... Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I don't know I, how I, I was, I, We are having this discussion with Carl earlier in the week. Um, I, I kind of... When, when it comes to like release titles and stuff mm-hmm. like I mean it, it does kind of matter I think you have to kind of be able to draw the line well the thing is um, well the interesting thing I think I'm not totally sure but I'm pretty sure that um, Hollow Knight came out on PC after the last game awards though so either way I think it was so it still fits in, in that one year gap yeah, yeah. Um, it's a Great. Actually, there was a couple other really cool dude. The Switch has got so many good, <laughs> so many good titles, like indie titles. Like yeah. I was literally playing the Messenger on Ben's Switch for like, oh yeah, fifteen twenty minutes. Yeah. It was like, fuck, this game is good. The Messenger as well. Holy as, shit! Um, what's the um, like when I'm was, when, it, was the Messenger that um, it's we like, like uh, it's, it's, it's like Ninja Steam, Game Steampunk. Nin- no, 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 Ninja, Ninja, Ninja Gaiden esque. Like, it's like a Ninja two D, like original Ninja Gaiden two D. Yeah, OG. Like, I I literally played that game for fifteen minutes and went, 
Yep, think... actually, the one you're thinking of is Dead Cells. Dead Cells, that's yes, the one that's I was thinking of. Dead Cells well. it yeah. also didn't make the list, which, yeah. again, I was like, Surprise. okay, that game was really fucking good too. So, you were saying that you were like, like eh, all about Switch Assassin's Creed? Yeah. Assassin's Creed, I'm actually interested? like interested in. Well, the thing the, is, the reason is, I got sick of Assassin's Creed very quickly. I got yeah, to I Brotherhood, too. and then I was just like, oh, I like, I love Brotherhood. Oh, okay, Brotherhood cool. was fantastic. I was fantastic. about to say, if you found Brotherhood boring, no, 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 stop. No, no, no. <laughs> I mean, I got to Brotherhood, I finished Brotherhood, and then I was just like, I'm done with... Uh, like, I bought the next one, and then just didn't touch it. Because I was just like, I'm I'm okay with Assassin's Creed for now. And I have not played a single Assassin's Creed to any I, real extent, apart from like... The last one I played China was or something 4, like that. I think. I played 4. Yeah. Didn't like it that much. And was like, oh, this story kind of sucks. I, I started playing the and one... And then where Black then, like, Flag, and I was like, this is fucking great. Yeah. And then... then then Unity came out. I got a free download code with when I bought the Xbox. I bought an Xbox One. That's mm. when it first came out. Yeah. I got a download code for the game. He's like, never nope. redeemed it. It was just like, I'm <laughs> fine. Don't worry. I'm about okay. It. You can have your fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if, yeah, I, do I get a discount if I just hand the code back? To <laughs> <laughs> can I get money back if oh, I give you the code? Fuck um, that. I was like, yeah, no, I'm good. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I, I played one where it's like based in like the... Uh, Industrial Revolution England or something like that yep. where there's the twins I played like five minutes of that and stopped so I haven't really played an Assassin's Creed for a solid amount of time <laughs> yep. and this one's like Ancient Rome I'm a, is yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, and I, so I, that I, looks super interesting to me so I'm just like it's oh, Greek no it's Odyssey Greek. Oh, Greek. sorry Odyssey yes and it's, but it's got Romans and yeah. it's like the I never um I never played the, one like like officially I never yeah. owned one Um, but it, it, it always interested me the storyline of the whole going back you know, with memory. Oh, it was yeah. cool. That, yeah. that no, was cool. it was. It's a really cool mechanic, it's a very and then, cool it, then it got churned out. Went a lot. too far. Like yeah. it just keeps going. <laughs> but like, apparently, the last one I didn't play Origins, but apparently Origins was really good. And to its credit, people were saying like, Odyssey is better than Origins, mm. and Origins was. What's people said, "Thank God, a return to form for Assassin's Creed when Origins came out." Yeah. And people were like, "Holy shit, Odyssey is really good." In saying that, though, like. I don't know. I feel that, like it's hard for me to call something the game of the year when it's like on its fucking ninth iteration. It should yeah. be something really special. Yeah. And like I've seen people play Odyssey and I was just like... It's still just... But it, it, I mean, it's still Assassin's Creed, Creed which is great. Mm. It's fine. I probably wouldn't call that game yeah. of the year. <laughs> but it, it'd be like someone calling Black Ops 4 game of the year, yeah. right? It's yeah, like, it'd be like, it's like cool. yeah, sure. But Speaking of which, I actually played that today. It's actually pretty fucking good. Yeah. Well, I, I don't imagine yeah. that. It wouldn't, oh, wouldn't have been, mm. you know... Good. I, I, heard, I heard good things. I but. actually played the Battle Royale today. And it fun. was fun. It was like, yeah, this is PUBG first person, but like the same speed that everyone plays a Call of Duty match. So yeah. it's like, just n- it's PUBG on steroids things. where everyone's Everything's just fucking just running and shooting. Yeah. The thing is like beforehand, you'd be like seeing like in PUBG, you'd see like someone go past on dirt bike and you're, you'd hear the noise and you'd be like, hide. And you'd be like, I see him there. I'm not going to take a shot because... If I miss, they know he's going to fuck me up. They know where I am. And yeah. I'm probably not going to hit him because it's really hard. Pub in fucking blackout, which is what they call their battle royale mm. mode. It's just like, oh, someone on a quad bike doesn't have a gun out. <laughs> <laughs> dead. Immediately fucking dead. The main thing is because um, ammo does not take weight, weight. in a backpack. So you, can... so you pick up all the ammo you fucking all find. You, you don't need to be like, oh, I can't take the seven, seven five, like the 5.56 five, because... Um, I'm out of like I'm because I have all these guns in nine mil and I can only have nine mil ammo or mm. I need seven six two or whatever. Like it's just like I find ammo. Pick up I pick anything up and everything. It, they simplify the game. Yeah, it's fast. It's really fast. But the map's still really big. It's fun. I was like, holy fuck! They did a battle royale they, game that wasn't they shit. It, they did it well. They did a good one. Yeah, they did a good well, one. If anyone was going to be able to pull it off, it'd be the Activisions of the world. And yeah, the, well, yeah, like. Like, I mean, the amount of, like, shitty Battle Royale clones that and exist. there wasn't any loot boxes in this. I think they... I think... I think, uh, I think they, they, they've learned... I think they ranked me up. Mm. I got a rank up on the ca- on the account I was playing on. Yeah. And it was like, you've unlocked this new thing. but And you do that's, all those unlocks. That's the thing. I don't you know do if you've this, heard. Yeah. Um, I'm not bringing them there, there, There's a bit of a trend at the moment with uh, these AAA releases. Mm. They release... Without any loot boxes, without any really? market transactions, and then literally two months later, they drop it in. Drop it in. Slime After in. all the reviews have come out, uh, yeah. you know, and yeah, smart. <laughs> <laughs> but Damn it, they're smart. The thing is, so what is interesting about that is that they, um, 
So I I can get, I can see where you get loadouts and you I can see where the where the essence of the um the micro pay, pay to win bullshit microtransaction stuff comes in place in the yeah. multiplayer. Yeah. But in the battle royale mode, everything is noticeably absent. Yeah. It's just like you can customize your appearance, like you're in PUBG, mm. but you cannot start with loadouts. You cannot start with certain things. So yeah. I think there's only so much. So ironically enough, if they are gonna fuck that game up, the battle royale mode is probably the one place. Where if there are microtransactions, they're only going to be cosmetic, which still suck, but they're going to be that instead of what they've previously done is make weapons in boxes. So, yeah. so it's shit. still it's still very battle royale where you run around and pick up stuff. Right? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Which it's is which, which, I, I just want to take this point, this point to actually say it's kind of funny when original first person shooters from like yeah. the, the original Xbox era, even earlier. It, that was the thing. You walked into a map with nothing except your fists, and then you had to run to where the the weapon spawned. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it's like Full a return circle. to that. Yeah. Full circle. But yeah, it was um. So it was uh, it was it wasn't bad. But like again, like I said, I wouldn't call it game of the year because yeah. like I'm yeah. like it's a Black Ops Four game. It's done well. Fucking why, <laughs> God damn. Um, these things are everywhere. Um, but yeah, like it's yeah, a it's, it's a Call of Duty. It's game. a Call of Duty game. Yeah. It's fun, but it's Call of Duty. Yeah. I'm like but Assassin's and- Creed. It's fun, but it's Assassin's Creed. Yeah. It's number but nine. Interesting Creed. enough, God of War has lots of God of War games, but, but there has been a big so, gap. And it's an end, but this game is so different. Yeah, the people are like this yeah. deserves something. Exactly right. It's, they've done something really refreshing so with they, God of they, War. They, they, they effectively changed the character. Of it's like he has all Son this of history. Boy, yeah. That's what it is. And they're just like, sure, that all happened. This is new. This is yeah. different. Yeah, I, I think I think that yeah, it's, it's the whole you know ship of Theseus thing. It's like if you replace a one plank at a time, is it still the same ship? Yeah, mm. absolutely. That's kind of where Call of Duty is, right? Call of Duty from ten years ago looks a little bit different from Call of Duty today. Yeah, but because it, it's so incrementally changed over the years, it's like it's still Call of Duty. Yeah, yes. if they left it for ten years and came back on like you'd be like on like three three platforms different, and you know we're all running fucking. I don't know. It'd be uh, so... It, it'd it be, would blow people's fucking minds. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Cause, and that's the thing. Assassin's Creed also has yearly releases. Yeah. And that's why I'm like, don't give it to a game that's got a fucking yearly <laughs> release. Like, yeah. how right. much innovation can you do? Anyway. Regardless, good list. Yes. Good game. Let us know as well in either the comments or Discord or wherever um, what you think is like your game of the year yeah. that got released this year. If it got like the Switch version out this year, I'll accept it. You went Diablo 3 for Switch. <laughs> that totally fucking yeah. counts. So... Yeah, let's know. I'm interested for to Switch. see. <laughs> I'm interested to see. Oh. <laughs> Game of the year 2018, <laughs> Minecraft for Switch. Okay. I mean, actually, seeing as we're on that topic, every NES game that got released on the Switch. Yeah, that'll Game, of the, Game of the year 2018. Why not? <laughs> Everything's okay. the Game of the year now, baby. Um, but yes, jump on Discord, jump on YouTube, jump on wherever it is that yeah. you can talk to us and let us know. Yeah, um, interested to find out. Switch, switch up, switching up gears a little bit. Oh no! <clears throat> One okay. more thing. Yes, yes. I, f- I forgot to add it to the list, but Spyro Reignited got released, and everyone's been raving about yeah, it. Yeah, that game's got some sick reviews. Yeah, and yeah. talking about sick reviews. Yeah, <laughs> moving in nicely. So we've gone from the cream of the crop <laughs> of the year. To the wonderful reviews Ryan, that we've gotten. Are you dying inside on slowly. <laughs> Fallout 76 and Diablo Immortal. I think oh we should. Okay, can God. we start with Fallout 76? Yeah, start with Fallout 76. Okay, I didn't know it was a thing until PAX, where I walked into the main hall and they're showing all the ad- advertisements. And I actually You're said like, to Carl, I was like, huh, that actually doesn't look too bad. I might give that a go. It's Fallout 76. Yeah. And yeah. then it came out. And, <laughs> and then everyone was like, oh my God, this is shit. What was its meta score? To, uh, it is currently sitting at a colossal 3.2. Oh, shit. It was 2.7 <laughs> yesterday, baby. Oh, well, you know. It's slight coming. bump. They got a bump. bump. So where is it? I got the... I have the Metacritic scores open, I'm, and I'm, they're I'm, great. I'm wondering whether it's... 3.1. I'm I'm sorry. It's combat now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm wondering whether it's a case... Nope. One. I'm, I'm wondering if it's a case of, like, you know, first launch, you know, problems, that sort of stuff. Mm. Um, okay, so there is a lot of that stuff, and I think that people... And I've seen people review be like, no, don't you... Like, the Forbes magazine game yeah. guy was like, now... Don't believe all the reviews that you read mm. because um, because people review bomb things and people will have better. And it's not fair. They've only had the game for a day. And I'm like, if the game sucks, we'll know within a day. Within mate. a day. Yeah. One day is more than enough. If it sucks. If yeah. after a day I'm like, I'm not playing this Shut anymore. Up. It's probably a shit game. Cool. Um, yes. So I, one thing I did actually note, um, which is thanks to um, Wyvern on our um, Discord. Yes. 
he actually shout bought out. he had, shout out to to Wyvern. He actually bought the um the physical version, the physical copy with come with the freaking helmet and shit. Looks, looks cool. amazing. He, he, fucking... he sent us a photo with the helmet on. I'm like, that looks fucking awesome. <laughs> freaking amazing. Um, but the actual physical copy of the game, you open like it's like you know Blu-ray disc uh, okay. thing. Right, like, hold up your your disc disc thing here. You so right, one right. Of, so it's, one of it's these like bad this. Boys. It's like that, right? You open it up. It's got a place for a disc, right? So show them the disc, right? It's got a place for the disc, but instead of an actual DVD or Blu-ray or whatever. It has a cardboard piece of paper, a round piece of cardboard, I'm only with a download code on it. <laughs> That's awful. That is fucking awful. Oh. Immediately, I was like, "Yeah, get fucked." What? Put what? It what? 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 disc. One like, of the best comments I saw was like, "Be me." Pre-order Fallout seventy six arrives today. Uh, open it up. Disc is only um, a piece of cardboard. Has a code on it. Enter the code. Is actually Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> So oh just God. to kind of get into a tangent of a topic there. So I've I've got my Xbox One, one terabyte. Yeah. Probably has like 15 games on it, but most of which are small, small games. Mm-hmm. But then I had like a handful of games that were like 60 gig. Well, de- wasn't it Destiny gig. 2 was like 60 gig? And it's just like... Destiny 2 is huge, man. It, I had a, if, I, I, that's almost maxed out my... Fucking yeah, drive. so but the point there is like with games like Destiny 2 and I'm assuming oh, and Fallout Red Dead as well. and Red Fuck Dead, me. my heart yeah. has like got four games on it now. You, yeah, that's it. You ha- you are very limited in the number of games oh. that you have. Yeah. If games like Fallout 76 now only come digital, what are, what's what are you gonna do just, if you want to play it? You're just like, do you know what they did when I don't Master, have the space for this shit. My worst one was the Master Chief Collection. It's like, hey, how would you like every Halo game <laughs> installed? <laughs> At the same at fucking once. time. You, you don't have the option it's to like install one at a time. Over 130 gig or some shit. And I'm like, oh my god. I, I, I think I had Ridiculous. Fallout 4 on my uh, on my um, Xbox. And I was just like, I'm going to play this eventually. I'm just going to leave it. To the point where I was just like, shit, I need to install this game. But I don't have space. What can I get rid of? So yeah, it's yeah. just like... You're but that's, but, that, but I honestly, I think that's a bit. Of, I think that's a bit of a ploy. If they know that it's going to sell well, if they know it's going to be a really popular game, right? Something like Red Dead, or mm. you know, they. It's almost like it's like well, they don't care how much space it takes up because what it means is you'll be uninstalling competitors' games. games, right? Here you go. On the back of this, this is the third time I've got this out already. For use, this is the back of the Red Dead Redemption box. For use only with Xbox One systems, game disc. And up to 115 gigabyte storage is required. <laughs> Brackets subject to change. I was like, get the fuck out. Oh god, damn. so and that's the thing, right? It came even, with two discs that even, I didn't store. Even, <laughs> even these, stores. even the disc games, they give you the disc, oh. and then it's like download another 40 gig. It's just like, why? <laughs> why are you doing this to me? Why? And and, and god and damn. The thing, the thing as well, like you, we were just talking about Overwatch before, right? It's like. You, you, you know, normally you stall an update and it's like a text file. So it's like, yep. you know, oh, mm. okay, yeah, you download, I don't know, uh, like 1.5 meg, it's an yeah. update, just change some balance stuff, right? And then yeah. occasionally, okay, they released a new hero, maybe a couple of gig, right? But it's like, every now and then they go, all right, now you need to reinstall the entire game. Yeah, so the last, the latest um, Overwatch inst- oh, yeah. update that I just did, like last night, was 20 something gig. It was the whole game again, basically. It, it was just like, Hey, I want to play this. Oh, wait. Sorry, there's an update. Hang tight. 20 gig. Like, <laughs> fuck. Mm. Thank so, God, like I, like, I think all of us don't have capped internet. Yeah, no, we're no. good. Yeah, we're, all, we're, all, we're, we're, we're all good. I'm, all, I'm, all at the moment, I'm not on I'm on, on I'm, I'm not on I'm not on I'm, I'm top tier, actually. I, 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 I for, well, for a little while, Look anyway. at me. I'll see, see how I go. But I was like, I was like, oh, um, you know, I, I shopped around a bit, ended up with um, Aussie, Aussie broadband. How good is it? When you've actually got the fucking speed with it, when you're yeah. not getting throttled, mm. it's just a fucking dream. It's, and the sad thing is, it's like still half the speed of the rest of the yeah. world. But yeah, it's yeah. like, oh my god, <laughs> oh my fucking god. Remember when wow. Joey, Joey can... in Germany was just like, oh, I finally got internet. I'm getting like 500 200 gigabits gig per second. Download I was like, you on, on standard speeds. It's just like, oh, look at me. I'm in Germany. I'll stand Sorry, for like... I have to use a dongle and get four <laughs> times your internet speed. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry Screw if my you. internet is patchy. Yeah, I was like, get it. Get the fuck out. Shut the hell up, Joey. All right. Anyway, we've gone way off okay, topic. Back to Back this. to Fallout 76. Fallout 76. This game is getting review bombed. It is. And the thing is, like, 
that I've I've been reading some of these reviews and some of them are legit and some of them are very funny. Um, however, some of them are like people mainly playing the beta, and I think they're this is their first chance to get in and be like, "Fuck yeah. this game." <laughs> <laughs> the first game, the first one as well is like, "Rest in peace and fall out and shame on you, Bethesda." This is how fanaticism and corporate greed destroy franchises. So I was like, and then comes like three paragraphs about his fucking review. So I was like, okay, cool. So you clearly had another point to make other than this game is bad. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, this post was never about the like, game. Yeah, so just you hate- assault, yeah. Does he mention the word patriarchy? Anyway? <laughs> oh, holy. God. He says the word fanatic multiple times. Yeah. In this I read it and I was like, I'm not going to read that one out. Um, there was some really, there's, the there's, a, there's a German one. Is in, is in, that's Russian. Oh, a Russian one. Um, uh, I like this one here. This game is a waste of time. It is full of bugs and robots without a story or enjoyable characters. Even if you can form a team, it is still very messy to play. Graphics are old. Lighting is weird. I think this was an experiment of Bethesda. <laughs> I think this was an experiment of Bethesda on if they could sell the worst game with the right marketing tactics. Another Dawn of War <laughs> case at best. So, yeah. Um, and it keeps going on. There was another one here as well. Um... Uh, and people like, and, and I think as well, it looks like there's um, even the positive reviews are like, even preface with this game is very different to Fallout. It's mm. a different experience. I mean, it's still like I've seen screenshots. It's still it still looks very Fallout much a Fallout. Aesthetic, yeah, but they're like this does not play like a Fallout game. Yeah, which is funny because this is like MMO style, always online, which people also fucking hate. But like that's that's what they're going for in this, and Fallout is traditionally. Single player, single player, the go most, do your literally thing. Literally, the polar opposite yeah. of these two experiences. So yeah. I think that's, I think that's what's it's, jarring people. It's yeah. kind of yeah, because Fallout has also always been sort of like you versus the world. Like yeah, so it's been like I said, single player experience, but not just that, a very a lonesome experience. Yeah. sure, you might go to little settlements here and there with a few NPCs, but yeah. the majority of the game is yeah. very you empty, doing your own thing. Where it's like. A Fallout, where you're like you're in a radioactive wasteland and there's a hundred thousand people running around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Like, mm, that's how did, not really. How does anyone really have combat armor? Buying combat armor for fifteen gold pieces. You know, like, <laughs> it's like, wait, how did these many people do- survive a nuclear holocaust? Yeah. <laughs> Just build the buildings back again. <laughs> Fucking yeah, hell. Exactly. Yeah. You have enough people to set up your society. You're fine. You're fine. Do it properly. Um, I think it's that, that that's where like server limits and stuff might actually make well, sense. But you know, they actually said here as well. Um, uh, so there's another one here saying there's an FPS lock, permanent blur, plethora of bu- bugs. Having said that though, what Bethesda, Bethesda game Bethesda isn't full of bugs? Well like, known for being what buggy. Game, Bethesda game is f- is not full of bugs. Three years after release, <laughs> like, you know. I loved how um the unofficial Fallout Four patch made it onto consoles. Like it was promoted yeah. by Bethesda yeah, as yeah. like fuck it, like, just do, do it, it. Yeah. <laughs> run with it. We know, it. yeah, just go with it. Um, also broken quests. Um, known to be broken for weeks and if not fixed for the release date. There's a stash issue. Broken PvP or event system. Textures that look like they're from 2011. Yes, this is Xenomax Bethesda game of 2018 with their new big project. Oh, um, and there's no push to talk as well. So yeah. that does not look positive. Um, there is a I feel like, shitload of zeros when I'm looking scrolling down. Jeez, here. I feel like half of it's review bombing and half of it is legitimate complaints that will probably be sorted out over three months. Yeah, mm. true. They're, but they probably should have just taken three months to sort it out instead of going, "We'll release for Christmas." Well, okay. So the, the, the thing is here, um, so a couple of things. This is um, I'm playing this game and nothing seems to have improved from the beta. Mm. Um. Uh, the launch was also terrible. It took me an hour just to get into the game, only to be disconnected 10 minutes later. Oh, jeez. I thought the beta was supposed to prevent this. Gameplay and graphics, nothing right home about. Um, most of the time, it's a mess of God raising blur. Made <laughs> the, and the, and the, the, thing, the right the lighting and angle, the this, game looks pretty. The thing that gets yeah. me about this is the mar- like there was a huge marketing push for it. Yeah. The entire, like, all the adv- advertising at PAX was for this game. There, yeah. there was so much. So and much. it's really disappointing. Like, I'm, I'm not a Fallout player i do i actually do like skyrim and like the elder yeah. Scrolls series I'm not and i have played fallout games but i'm not a You're fallout not. fanatic yeah. so like i am the wrong person to kind, kind of, of like judge or judge this, this. go into any real detail ryan, i'm very glad ryan is here because ryan loves his fallout well um, I, I just like i said i think it's disappointing i yeah. I, I said like well, like i said when i saw the advertising at pax <laughs> like 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 the big the big it's like, like you know videos out. and stuff i'm yeah. like oh this actually doesn't look too bad yeah. you know like for an mmo yeah. um i might give it a go right but then 
what sounds like has happened as well is that the marketing material yeah. which showed you know like quote unquote gameplay mm. might not have been showing gameplay at all I, right I, I, it's yeah. like pre-rendered scenes and that sort of yeah. stuff yeah, yeah. um yeah a- a- anyway look i think this is like i said a bit of a case of um they probably launched a little bit too early for themselves they it's there's always going to be issues at launch there were you know with every game um yeah. and yeah some of it is would be legitimate um uh, criticisms as criticisms well. and there, issues. there was also like this is not just users as well i should mention there was like an ign review i don't have it up in front of me but saying that i think the quote was um surprisingly lifeless adventure and i was mm. like from, i was like from ign that is supposed to be your softball yeah review, review. and they were like pretty fucking crap not great. honestly you're like wow not great. <laughs> So, May- maybe avoid this game one. Game ain't great, but the thing is, hopefully. So this is the more positive spin: is that hopefully, if it is pitched more in the MMO space, that you know the service will improve. Yeah, it'll become better. So fix things. Yeah, like fuck. When I first like I got Destiny One the day that it came out. I got Destiny Two the day it came out as well. I got Destiny One the day that it came out. I was super hopeful coming off the back of Halo. Mm. I was like, and and I went to. I actually went to. I got some um tickets to go to some of their um pre-release like meet some of the devs yeah and, like I, I got so like i i got you to were see super this game. into it i was super into it i got to see heaps of the game before it came out mm. and i was like yes i'm down for the west because they were pitching it back then as like this western style like spaghetti west, western in space in space mm. kind of thing and i was like cool it's a new direction i'm super down for it i'm super glad to see this and destiny one came out and i was just like not quite it's okay yeah. and i played the fuck out of it but it's but it's it not what it was hyped was up to be okay yeah. it wasn't it, especially vanilla destiny one it wasn't great yeah and looking back on now i'm like yeah it wasn't very good yeah um so so, so just, just to that point as well though like because of the setup right it it is an mmo it's think world of warcraft where they iterate on i'm it actually thinking elder scrolls changing. online elder scrolls online destiny all of these yeah. games where it's just like yeah we've released this game here's patch, but here's, here's a thing, patch in thing. two months here's a new story yeah. here's a new thing the- i think that as crappy as the reviews have been so far mm. it's fortunate that they're in an environment where they can go shit okay let's quickly well, fix things and, up and the big thing is a lot of people saying like there's no fucking story to this thing it just feels just like go Here out go- there do, fall out go like, do oh, cool. like so what like, what am i doing yeah why do i care to yeah. be in this world so mm-hmm. i i can imagine so. and maybe obviously I, I don't imagine it will take as long but it could be similar to no man's sky where they've just yeah. gone oh this isn't this didn't quite hit the mark that we were expecting personally i think they should have gone for a more borderlands feel that that in yeah. my in my honest opinion i yeah. think they should have gone with like the the wasteland appeal which is what fallout's appeal was mm. right mm. um with small groups maybe upwards of 10 people instead of four but like yeah. the idea of like having a team small that you group. rove around the you know yeah uh, anyway, that'd be that's, cool and i'd be like i'm fucking down for yeah shit. so they can they they can see the shit of reviews and just go shit okay like you yeah. have this game you don't need to Absolutely. buy a new game you still just have fallout 76 and you now have a new campaign or you now have this big baddie that's come out of nowhere that yeah. you have to survive up against or, or whatever the case is so i can see some level of salvation for yeah. this game if bethesda choose to take it yeah um but, well yeah. i mean yeah like i said i think like elder scrolls online seems to have a pretty good following i think eventually this will get there i don't think it'll be it's not going to be the mmo to end all mmos mm, but yeah. it's going to have it's going to have a loyal fan base yeah. at some point it, yeah yeah. yeah, at least it has the potential to. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's it's a bit disappointing, but like, you know. Okay. So the other aspect that we wanted that we wanted to bring yeah. up, um, being Diablo Immortals. Oh, so, boy. Um, boy, oh boy, how do we unpack <laughs> this fucking guys, shit guys, salad, guys? Guys, guys, I think the only way we can enter this conversation is to ask our audience, guys. Don't you have phones? Yeah. <laughs> you have phones. Come on, yeah. guys. You all have phones, that right? Was, phones? That was, What's the problem? That was fantastic. I, I remember I read up on that and I was just like, two of things. all the boneheaded things to two say. Two things. I was just like, when these I'm guys are... Off everyone. They, they, they had such a great opportunity and they've just like, just kicked everybody in the shin. Legitimately, just, like, why not go the way of so many other successful phone games and be like, hey guys, you know, we are working 
on the new main series installment of Diablo. The crowd goes nuts. And they yeah. go, but we're not there yet. Mm. But we do have this to show you to get your Di- Diablo fix in while you wait for that new game. Yeah. On- and then Diablo, yeah. and people are like, fuck yeah, phone game, sure. Absolutely. Free to play, probably has microtransactions. I'm not an idiot. I know what a fucking free to play game is. Yeah. But cool. I can get this thing if I want it. Honestly, and have fun on my phone when I'm like going to work honestly, or something. Honestly, like, cool. I saw the I trailer. Think, I, mean, I saw the trailer for the game and I was just like, this looks freaking cool. Yeah. I would love yeah. to play this. So they have, an, they have a fantastic they had an game. It is such a good opportunity. They just had to say things differently. Not I think piss off. Like, what do you mean you don't want it? They, what do you mean? Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> they, they unfortunately brought a mobile game to a gunfight a little bit. Um, yeah. That they they walked into the room going, we've got this great thing. It's going to be fucking amazing. Everyone's like, great. Everyone's like, uh, did you read the room? Ninety percent of people in here are PC gamers. Diablo. We're at BlizzCon, bro. (laughs) We're at BlizzCon, a primarily PC based company, effectively, right? Yeah, Um, absolutely. And you're announcing a mobile game to a crowd of PC games, like. Yeah, I think, so, I think again, they could have done it a bit. Even, it was a bit toned. And, and you can yeah. and you can, and you can and you can be proud of the game. I'm not saying like, oh, we released a phone game, guys. I'm really sorry about this. No. Like, be be. You can be proud of the work. A, a, a bunch of devs probably put in a lot of hours and a lot of hard work on making a good game. But to, not a bunch of game. Not a bunch of devs at Blizzard, though. That okay. That's also <laughs> another now. <laughs> but to to my but point, to my earlier game, point, I saw it and I was just like, I genuinely I want this that. game. I would. I want to play that game. You just had to go in and go, hey, this is a mobile game. Th- don't don't get your hi- hopes up for a PC game or something. That's going to come. There's, yeah, it's we can work on that down it's the line. Coming. You gotta, but you got to keep giving them the carrot. So you got to keep saying like, no, it's the, coming, the it's part, coming, it's coming, the, baby. The one it's part coming, of, you love it. The one part of that but that I saw now. that I was just like, oh, you screwed this up so bad was the question and answers. And this guy, this one guy walks up and is just like, hey, the, the, so... The only legitimate question that everyone asks. <laughs> the, yeah. the, the guy's like, so this introduces a lot of cool mechanics that we've yeah, been I wanting. Like, we've been, been wanting, wanting from Diab- the previous Di- Di- Diablo and game. The, and the game looks really good. And it looks great. Can we is get, it gonna go... Is there any plans for it to go on Can we get PC? some of these features that we've wanted in the like, game to the PC? Nope. <laughs> like, we have no plans. Have no plans <laughs> like, oh my this. god. Like, oh my god. <laughs> like, legitimately, that you dude... Just I, that, I was you like just that, broke that guy's heart? I was like, that and... dude is trying so hard to bat for you. <laughs> yeah. He is trying to be like, okay, I know this sounds awful. I'm throwing you a fucking bone and being like... So... We love it. Like, cool. Like, the game does look... It looks okay. I mean, I'm probably not going to play it, but it looks okay. Are you gonna... Can, I, can, can we have some cool features for the other one on PC? <laughs> no. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, it wasn't... No. Well, it wasn't even, like... <laughs> God. Yeah. 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 Uh, it just... It, it was so it was, bad. it was a boneheaded, tone-deaf oh, uh, performance. Fuck. And um, I'll be honest... Good riddance, a little bit. I mean, like uh, at the same time, um, the other thing that we sort of touched on earlier, um, it's not actually being developed by Blizzard. They outsourced a lot of the dev, and it's built on an engine that has built a bunch of other MMOs. Mm. Yep. Um, f- sorry, mobile phone. Mobile games. Uh, mobile yeah. Games. Yeah. Um. So. And they're like a they're like a Chinese company that usually does the knockoff versions of. This. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, they're they're, they're, so they're like, the Ooh. company that's built the knockoff versions of Diablo, and they've been hired to build Diablo. So I mean, theoretically, they would have experience then, but yeah. still, <laughs> they know um, what they're doing. Yeah. Oh. So, like, like I said, it's it just it just it just reeks of being tone deaf, right? Like I said, it does. they've 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 outsourced this game. And they've gone, oh shit, we need to have something for our keynote for BlizzCon. Um, fuck. Oh well, we've got this this thing in development. All right, we'll run with that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, let's go with that. Yeah, it's a mobile game. Awesome. Nothing could go wrong. So I'm trying to remember what was the. Oh, no, sorry. We were literally just talking about Fallout. Hmm. People were like, "Hey, what's that new Fallout game? We want a new Fallout. We want a new Elder Scrolls. We want a new all this stuff." And they're like, "Guys, it's coming." But here's Fallout Shelter. Would you like to play Fallout Shelter? Hmm. And people were like, "Sure. Yeah, fuck. Cool. <laughs> Why yeah. not?" And everyone loved Fallout Shelter. Yeah. It's a fun game that you can get. Uh, from memory, I never played it, but t- from my memory, like no one complained about microtransactions or anything, so it didn't seem... Um, I think they're there. They do they exist, are there. I think. Yeah. Um, but uh, I didn't hear I, I played about it, it. I played it on, on mobile, and it was actually, yeah, pretty fun. Um, but the thing... The that's thing, just setting expectations, being like it's a free-to-play game, it will have microtransactions. But that's the thing, at, like, the, time, at the time when Fallout Shelter had come out, uh, mm. Fallout 4 had already been announced. 
they, yeah. they, they hadn't they hadn't yeah. gone like full on with the marketing, but they said yeah. we are working on Fallout Four. Well, yeah. that's the thing. They could say they could just say, "Hey, we are working on Diablo Four. We are working on." Because the thing is, people then went. So you're not working on anything so nothing's except coming. for this shit. And nothing like, is coming nope. right now. And the thing no. is, the thing is, and that's, and, that, and that's the thing. They're not even working on that game. No, that, that was the thing. So it's what like, are you doing? So what exactly are you doing? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. like it, it's. And the thing is, like they might want to save that up for later, but like realistically, you could have saved yourself. You, like you could have saved yourself a lot they, of pain honestly, by just like marketing that better honestly and they could have said people with kind of like just like content. fuck it, it they'll, just, they'll it's take content. it yeah it's just we've given you this fuck. thing buy it you'll end love story. it no they, <laughs> Sorry. they could have been like hey just look hang tight we've got some things in the pipeline like you don't even have to specify or say specifically it's the Diablo 4 or whatever you just be like look we know that you're keen for something else we've got something coming fuck just Valve, Valve feeds the trolls in literally anything, any hype that has a fucking three on the end yeah. of their title. <laughs> so, like, all they had to do was take a note from that and be like, don't even say you're working on Half-Life 3. Just be like, hey, we're working on something new and cool. <laughs> but until then, here is this mobile game you can play. And then that would have gone over better. Uh, literally anything would have gone better. But they're like, speaking of, nope. uh, Half-Life VR. Is apparently a prequel to Half Life Two, which so it means there's actually more canon now. Yes. Mm. So, woo. Seriously, but like the Half-Life thing is, going to be the, the worst the game. Thing ever. Is, it's going to be Duke Nukem Forever. No, no, it's going to be so bad. No, 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 it's it's going to be twenty thing. years later. They're like, <laughs> okay, we're finally going to do this thing now. No, no, but that's M bomb. But that's the thing. I think they're at the stage now because because of the meme, they literally cannot they release a yeah. Half Life Three without. But they that make won't fucking bomb. Portal Three. Fuck. So <laughs> like, yeah. The, the fact or Left for Dead Three. The fact, anything with a three anything on it. Anything Three. Team Fortress Three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God, so, you're gonna you like if you if one day that we have to announce that Ryan dies, it's probably <laughs> because for like half, uh, Team Fortress Three was announced and he's had a fucking stroke. <laughs> yeah. He's so happy. He's like. Don't worry, I didn't even need to play the game. I can die now. I, I'm, I know it's coming. I'm a happy man. <laughs> and, and, and Ryan out. <laughs> and, and this is the thing that we're talking about earlier, jumping back to our oh. Call of Duty discussion, right? It's like the game the game Call of Duty and the game Team Fortress has changed so much over 10 years. 10 years ago, Team so Fortress different. 2 was so much different to the Team Fortress of today. Yeah, but it doesn't God. make headlines because they're incremental updates to an old old game. Mm. If they release Team Fortress 3 as you know, as as the next patch for Team Fortress Two, it's just Team Fortress Two with you know some new features, right? Yeah. But called Team Fortress Three. Oh my God! Suddenly everyone will be on top of it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So to to round out this conversation, I guess the whole point of this conversation was that um, I think it's time for Team Fortress Three. <laughs> We're ready. <laughs> We're ready. We're ready. Hey, Val, okay. what are you doing? Hey, where's I'm, Team Fortress Three? <laughs> all I'm waiting for is that, I'm waiting for them to either port Team Fortress Two to Source Two. Which mm-hmm. is because it's not it's currently on source one. <laughs> I was getting I was so waiting for you to say I can't wait for them to port it to mobile. <laughs> <laughs> and I, port it to mobile. I, I was half expecting that. I'm gonna be honest, half expecting that. You know what's that. gonna happen now, right? They're gonna announce <laughs> you Team Fortress it, Mobile. You fucking jinxed yeah. it, right? <laughs> They're going to announce Team Fortress Mobile and everyone's like, you know, this looks like a really cool game and it's got some new mechanics that we're really interested in in the community. Is there any chance that this stuff is gonna make it to PC? Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. You guys don't have phones. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Let's 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 move away from that to the last oh. point that we did want to touch on oh um, on a more uh, negative note. Yeah. Um, Nintendo. Nintendo has, has sued. Strikes again. The legal legalities oh. of the gaming industry. Yeah. So um, I suppose the yeah, the I two can't. the two second summary of this is that um, a couple that ran a couple of the hugest. Um, uh, ROM, ROM sites, sites in the world, loveroms.com and Love loveretro.co. Retro. Uh, they got sued for like sixteen million dollars mm-hmm. and, po- and change, um, and they ended up settling out of court um, for about twelve million, I think it was. Yep. So, um, yeah. but yeah, so that was that was a news. Um, I think this comes out of Nintendo's recent-ish push of you know releasing well for starters releasing the classic uh, minis mm. right NES yes. classics NES classics um, releasing their classic games uh, on the Switch yeah as well as the 3DS but they've been doing that for years anyway um, I think that's kind of where this is coming from right yes. so they've they've suddenly gone oh we're actually making a hell of a lot of money on our old on our, mm. on our backlog now 
Um, we should fucking cut like slam down on these rom sites. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um. So that yeah. Anyway, that's that's where it's so from. Yeah. So it looks like. So what I would say here is that. So I'm reading. We've got this article, this Variety article up, and basically, uh, you know, they say um, the complaint was that the love, love roms and love retro websites are among the most open and notorious online hubs for pirated video games. Through the websites, the defenders reproduce, distribute, publicly perform, and display a staggering number of unauthorized copies of Nintendo video games, all without Nintendo's permission. This includes thousands of games developed for nearly every video game console, every video game system that Nintendo has ever produced. Um, the other big big thing that they wanted, yeah. they wanted something like $150,000 per game that they infringed. That's that's where they got their number. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. That's insane. So it is. It's That's a lot. This is like, can you imagine? The sites are reportedly owed, owed, operated by a married, a Arizona married couple. Arizona couple who swiftly took the sites down after the complaint was filed. They're like, "Oh God, please don't kill us!" <laughs> like, so, well, just, yeah. Just think about it though. Like, can you imagine if you and Leah were just like, "We're gonna run this site where people can just download shit for free because we like these games. We think other people will like these games. Yeah. It's not easily accessible. Let's just make it accessible for people." And, and this comes back to the whole conversation we've had multiple times about being like, "Yeah." It is it is a very fucking grey area and you would say, Yeah, it's illegal. You you really yeah. are sharing games that you don't have the rights to, to do so distribute. Yeah. It's pretty pretty cut and dry there. Like the way ROMs themselves aren't inherently illegal because you can create your own one and use it yourself and mm. you're not doing anything wrong. But um, ROMs but of sharing games. ROM websites. Yeah. Having think... said that though, a lot of times you're like, these games don't exist anymore, they're not in print. Or they were never in print, and for, never our, in print. for our region. Or, um, or and we not... want to play them and you're not making any money off them. Yeah. What's the problem? But yeah. then but then you're saying like... But if you think about the, to that the point... The second Nintendo go, no, we want to start producing these games now. Yeah. Stop. So, so, <laughs> like, so like, I get that. Yeah. Like, I, every time we talk about these businesses doing shady business things, I try to look at it from their perspective of yeah. going... They do want to start making money from this. So these sites are direct competition to their IP. Yeah. So I'm like, I have and this thing and I want to sell it. You are stopping people from coming to me to buy the, my thing. The the big the big thing here, I think, is the the downloading of, right? So mm. it's, yes. it's, it's not so much the, the ripping of ROMs and that sort of stuff. Like you can... They can't make, make that. The, no, no, no. It's the can't. distribution. Yeah. It's the distribution. It's, it's, like, it's, like, it's like drugs. One, one, it's one the selling point, of the drugs that's, yeah. <laughs> that's one, illegal. One, one point that Ben actually raised um, was that um, it's kind of a blow for game preservation in the sense like, mm. okay, yeah, they're... They are, you know, distributing the, the software. Mm. Sure. They should, you know, probably get sued for that, right? Yeah. yeah. But at the end of the day, maybe they had, you know, a, a ROM of a game that only got like 10,000 copies released and there's only ever been, you know, five that, that are known to exist. And, you know, you know that, that sort of stuff, that's where, you, that, that's where the real loss occurs, yeah. right? Because yeah. this sets precedent, right? And if, oh, yeah. if, if a com- if, if let, let's just say that we, we wanted to open up a... A digital museum of, of of you know the arts or whatever. Yeah. And we hosted games. Uh, Someone can come in and play. So some people, some people, so people could come in and play, not download. Yeah. But just play, come in. Right? It's like coming or, to a friend's place, playing their game. Yeah. Leaving. Right. And then you're that's saying cool. like, well, is that is, is that, that distribution? Yeah. Okay. Of like illegal yeah. software. And let's and let's take that let's take that to the from the point that Nintendo oh. would think that that's distribution, maybe. right? Okay. So then maybe. Can we upload videos of us playing the games? You know that Nintendo, absolutely not. They fucking hate Let's Play. <laughs> <But> they <laughs> absolutely fucking hate that, Let's Play. And that's my fucking point. Yeah. It's like it's like you can we, be in a partner program and we'll give you money. But uh, <laughs> fuck you. And that that is the problem, right? It's like even even for uh, legitimate uses, right? Yeah, they crack um, down. They, they, they down crack, on it. They crack yeah. down on it. Sure, this one I completely agree. They should crack down on it. But in yeah, general, so, I think it sets a bad precedent. Exactly. Yes. So my point here is that while I'm saying that I, I I do like to look at it from their perspective as a business, is they're going about the wrong way. So if they were just to go to this guy's look, he's like, hey, we're starting to sell these games again. Just stop. You if you were to stop. just be like, you have to stop this. Or they because, will, or they're uh, saying or, if you continue, yeah. there will be a lawsuit. Then there will be a lawsuit And later, the thing is, they said when the complaint happened, they, they took the side took down. They took the side down. So it's, it's a matter of going, hey, right now, I'm not doing anything with this. You do what you need to do. I've gotten, gotten to a point where I'm like, I'm ready to start making money off this again. Stop messing around with my IP. You stop, no problem. 
both parties go ahead their own way. But the, the other problem option. for Nintendo though is if then the people reason... download the ROM and go, well, when the game comes out, I've already got the ROM. So the it. reason, yeah. the reason I can so... see why they needed to do this again is that precedent is to go. No, don't do this. Like no, nobody can do this. Stop. Otherwise, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. And it's going to cost you a well, lot of is, money. As I said here, <laughs> Emu Paradise is already shut down, and that was a huge mm. place. I yeah. went um, there for can, when I was uh, in high school. Uh, <laughs> and it's, it's, unfor- it's unfortunate that this is Nintendo because, like I said, yes. that they they want to obviously be very con- controlling over their IP and stuff, mm. right? Like f- from a from a purely like like you know my optimistic side, as like mm. I would wish that companies like nintendo like you know um sega and all that they would look at this and say right you're distributing our shit illegally right okay mm. sure maybe we'll fine you or, or something like that mm. but having said that if you are willing to offer that those games right we we will take a commission or something like you know you know what i mean like mm. offer them for a price and we will and we will take a commission and and you can continue like to you become a re- retailer a retailer right become a retailer like don't like i guess what i'm saying is don't punish but like try and try and make them learn from the experience you know what yeah. i mean like yeah well there, there's a good comment here in the in this variety article here um saying that like you know nintendo is partly to blame here the vast majority of the games of these sites aren't even available unless you buy the 10 to 30 euro cartridge seriously like my sega mega drive games over there yeah i put them out sega mega drive put them in and i'm like praying every uh, single for time for the love of god like, work please turn on yeah please I'm, turn I'm, on I'm, because I'm, there's just no way of, like they I'm, might I'm, work even if you have one and they're mm. hard to find I'm, I'm to the point where i'm actually looking at some point maybe in the next year to invest in getting a a cartridge reader yeah. just so i can rip, so I rip, them. rip them all down yeah it says if nintendo doesn't want these sites to exist they should at least offer a legal alternative yeah the virtual console does not scra- doesn't even scratch the surface yeah. and the that, library, that, that's exactly which is it. totally fair because people are like i want to play these games and you didn't deem them good enough to be on the nest classic so, so what the fuck do you yeah, want me to do that's the point <laughs> like, there as well right the, like, point, the, the point there is that they can be like okay look these are the games that we're releasing on nest classic and these are the games that we're gonna release in the next year even like you can, yeah. they can have that view and then go don't have those games on your rom site yeah like and they're keep, all... keep distributing or sharing these other ones that we uh, have I, no intention to do I, I feel like they can they, they can do that but at the same time there's a because there is there is legal stuff around like ratings and yeah and you know release in particular areas and stuff mm-hmm. right like nintendo would have to comply with those sort of laws like if they they can't they can't walk in over to a rom site and say okay you're 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 distributing three of our games that we really don't want you to the rest of them we're going to turn a blind eye for but these three in particular you know, you've got to take them down. That kind of looks like willful ignorance or that they're kind of letting the other games get released on the side. Yeah. So they're like, take the side down, please. Mm. Yeah. Like yeah. It, it, it's a very complex issue. It's very sad for us, those gamers, but, mm. you know, it is a business. It is um, a multi-billion dollar business. <laughs> it's a multi-trillion dollar business at this point. Um, like the, the point that I made to Ryan earlier as well is just like, that price, that, that 16 million or whatever is well, just... Well, well, the thing is, they're not going to... It's a fucking it's couple like, of that, that, that was the maximum damages they were going for. And then, yeah, yeah. And then, and then like, they, settled, they settled for 12 million. There's no fucking way they're going to be able to pay that. So they're going to... They'll, they will settle down yeah. further and there'll be less. It's still going to probably send that what, couple... Oh, gonna, no, yeah. what, no, what, what like, they'll do is... And like, I mean, this like is... Like responsible restitution kind of thing. No, no. Well, they might do that, but they also might do um, things where... Because they, those two had a, actually had a company, mm. right? Well, they'll yep. they'll they'll make it that the company folds right and the company goes bankrupt because it has to pay the fine and the couple themselves relatively unscathed mm. yeah um p- potentially they might try and do something like that. like it's up to There's their legal team different ways you know, to sort of stuff, try right? to deal with this yeah. but yeah it's just yeah. it's horrendous can you like again can you imagine being in that situation where like i'm doing something for my community i want to provide them but these and- options but that, of, but, that, but, but that was my point it was like video you know, game library okay. download all the roms right now well, that, that, all of them right now but that's the thing it's like okay i want to do something positive for my community benjamin i mm-hmm. want to release let's plays of every uh mario party that's ever been released because i love the mario party games and I'm everyone, everyone, everyone should, <laughs> no no, <laughs> no like, I'm, I'm using it as an example yeah, no, yeah, 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 because yeah, this is joke, this yeah, is yeah. the one point where where we actually get we actually get uh claimed by nintendo every yeah. time we release a nintendo game on our on our channel they claim it 
immediately. <laughs> right? Like, it's like immediately. We they have a it's, sense it's, of it's blood for Mario Party. I swear to God. Yeah. Pokken lasted longer than Mario Party did. Yeah, it did. But then, like, anyway. <laughs> so no, you're like same point. That is take our the same point of going. You motherfuckers. We want to do something for the community. We want to like even if it's again uh, with our let's plays. Our let's plays. I would say we're doing it more for us than we are. Well, we are. We are. Doing it for the fact us. that we want to do something for ourselves. Thank you for watching, by the way. <laughs> we love you guys. We love you guys. And then Nintendo is just like, no. I I I also want to say, um, have you guys heard of long plays? Yes. So like, there's there's speed speed running, right? Mm-hmm. Which is like trying to you know finish the game quickly or yep. you know do cool glitches and that sort of stuff but long plays is actually um the whole game no no it's, it's, it's not necessarily yes but it's not just the whole game it's trying to showcase every single aspect feature of it. and aspect and thing of a game mm. in its entirety for preservation purposes mm. that is the like well at least from the long play community that is their purpose right yeah it's not about like we play we do let's plays because you know we think we're funny we're not but we think we are <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm pretty funny. Yeah, that's why, you you're, guys... that's why you're not. Uh, <laughs> um, Damn. But that's the thing, right? The it's it's that sort of stuff where it's like this is a long play of this game, which I'm mm. I'm recording for preservation purposes. This is going to showcase all the mechanics of the game, all the secret areas, all that sort of stuff. Mm. Nintendo claim it copyright. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing. It's like where do you draw the line, Nintendo? And as far as Nintendo's concerned, if you aren't playing the game in your living room where we can't see you then we're going to fucking copyright claim it yeah as long as if it comes on the internet it's ours stop it yeah Yeah. Mm. anyway it it is an unfortunate uh, situation um i think there are different companies that handle it much better um hopefully nintendo gets to the point where they kind of become more accepting of these sorts of things obviously Mm. not again the the rom site lawsuit makes sense to me i i don't expect any any company to ever go yeah, we'll let that slide. Yeah. But things like Let's Plays and things like that, yeah, I, I definitely do hope that Nintendo and any other kind of company gets to a point where they're just like, yeah, no, well, this is this is okay. Mm. Um, but it is the unfortunate, situ- unfortunate situation. Um, but on that note, we have been jabbering away for the past hour or so. So we shall wrap this up. Anything either of you guys want to end the cast on? I think jumping back to our... Um our earlier topics like let us know what you think your game of the year would be right you know mm-hmm. uh, any title that's come out in the last year and you've played and you liked and you want us to talk about yeah yeah i think that's i think that's good i am gonna get my brother's ps4 play spider-man and i'll probably and son of boy probably get uh, odyssey as well because I just I genuinely want to play. I seriously I saw, played... I saw I saw the sale for like the Spider Man PS4s and mm. I was like, <laughs> I could I one could, more console. I could fucking, one I could more console. Buy that yeah, right see, now. <laughs> that's like me with the Switch. It's like I'm looking at it going, mm, but I, I look down from my from my you know TV screen. And I've got PS4 and Xbox One. An Xbox 360 and PS3 and PS2. If you're PS2 not playing your PS4, I'll PS. play it. No, yeah. no, I'm playing. I, that's like the How one good I'm does the Spider-Man PS4 look, though? It looks so good. Oh. Anywho, we'll wrap it up there. Thank you very much for listening through all of our wonderful topics. Once again, please jump onto Discord, jump onto YouTube, any way you want to communicate with us. Let us know what you're thinking. Let us know your game of the year. Let us know any other interesting topics that you may have rattling around in your head. Um, and any suggestions on things that you want us to play, anything you want us to talk about, just throw them at us and we'll get, go over them. Cool. And I will leave it at that. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye. 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 Huh.